Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a good Christmas time with your families. I hope you're enjoying your holidays if you're off work. If you are working on the grind, here's a video for you. This one is an interesting one. It is about a worm made by an Indian coder back in 2003. So this takes two forms. I have a two variants here. I've got the C and the D variant. These are both SCR or screensaver files. Now one thing to know if you're unaware is that EXE files and BAT files files are not the only type of executable files in Windows. You have SCR, which are screensavers. You've got PIF, you've got COM, BAT, and EXEs. So these SCR files, although they are screensavers, are fully capable of running normal executable code that you would see from an EXE file. So I don't have the emails that this would send. However, I do have the text. It uses some of these different ones. It'll say, hello, the attached product is send as part of our official campaign for the popularity of of our product you have been chosen to try a free fully functional sample if you're satisfied then you can send it to your friends all you have to do is install the software and register an account with us using the links provided essentially some of these are x-rated website down the bottom you can see is king of fighters so i don't know whether that was a game or something like that but that's fine and then you've got this other one that says actually i want a true friend for life with whom i can share my everything so if you're interested in being my friend for life then mail me if you want to know about about me attached as my profile along with some of my picks. So we'll run the D variant first. This one actually is a screensaver so it acts exactly how you would expect. You can see it's showing this definitely not sketchy at all text all over the screen and it will shake the screen every few seconds to kind of do the screensaver thing where it doesn't have a static image on the screen and you can see it goes between this text like you are so cute today I like you very much true love and so on Move the mouse it goes away so nothing seems to be amiss on our VM we've got Supermium we've got uh, VLC we can go ahead and access anything on the disk and it all works fine so we will run the C variant which you can see is a lot larger it's 1.2 megabytes versus what is this one 26 kilobytes so we'll run this and we can see that the cursor has the busy icon so it is doing something and then it kind of goes away and you go well that screensaver sucked and you go about your day let's have a look at task manager and oh it doesn't work anymore that's not a good sign let's have a look at some files so i have some things to show you so in the windows folder if you scroll down it makes some random text documents and we have this like these ones here i'm pretty sure are all they see all these random made ones and they're all 367 bytes or 500 bytes i'm pretty sure these are made by the worm there's also one that doesn't even have a name so we'll start with that one and the author of this one named it Yaha2. Now, not all security vendors use the same naming scheme. I know that most of them back in the day didn't like to name things the way that the authors intended to sort of dissuade them from doing it for the recognition. Now, F-Secure notes both names. So I'm just gonna call it Yaha from now on, even though it is probably Linton. And we can see the author is HH or H2H at akyans.com from Kerala, India, and this is dedicated to all the stupid SW profs that thinks they are the masters. Lol, still I am not a SW prof. Anybody want my service? Sent a mail. Confident in MFC, Win32 API, C, and Visual C++, lol. To AVs, who the hell named my Valentine worm to Yaha? Stupid AVs, they don't know what my worm is doing. Lol, 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 lol. And the, he's put these nice dividing lines here. But that is not the only thing. I believe if we open up this other one, or any of these other ones are all the same, it is Yaha3. I believe this is the two different variants. And he says, I like Claire's and Sircam, but I hate the bullshit payloads. Is I am a good coder? Still, I have doubt. Huh? Beware Indian hackers, tomorrow is ours. So there we go. This worm does some interesting things that I won't be able to show you, but if it does find another machine on the local network that it can infect, it will do so. And if it finds an IIS server, so just a Microsoft web server, it will modify the HTML pages contained on it, and it will add to the bottom that says ha, 
ha and ha, and it doesn't stop itself from doing that, so some pages can have multiple strings. So apparently in the Windows folder, there should be a file that is dropped, but I don't actually see that. So I may have to question this guy's assertion that he is a good coder, because I'm not seeing anything happening here, so there's nothing there. And if we go to the startup directory, where it's also supposed to copy itself, startup, it hasn't put anything in here. So at the moment, this worm is not going to remain memory resonant after a reboot. Uh, apparently, another thing it's supposed to do is change our win.ini file, which I don't think it would have done. We can try and check, of course. Here it is, and we can open that up. And I don't believe, yeah, nothing has actually been added in here. So it's supposed to put another line in this file to run its dropped file on startup. So it's supposed to have multiple ways that it tries to start up. Another way that it tries to start up and doesn't is in regedit, which does actually work. It doesn't block it. They will be under, I believe it's Windows current version run. And we can see that it hasn't put anything in here. We just have our VMware tools. It has not added anything. It's supposed to be another key that it makes called run service. And that does not seem to have done it either. Can check the Windows NT current version. I don't think, no, it's not even in here. I was just double checking that. And it's also supposed to kill any process that has certain things in the file name. So we'll copy and paste this help file and we will rename it to agentw.exe is supposed to be blocked, but it does not do that. Obviously there's no help file that we have selected, but this is what this program is supposed to do and it runs fine. So that is about it for the email worm Lenten or Yaha. I actually think it's a quite interesting worm. It's just a shame that it wasn't really written very well, but uh, different variants did do different things. These ones didn't really do anything, and these are the two most stable variants that will run and do something at least every time, but they don't do what they're supposed to. But thank you very much for watching. Like I said earlier, I hope you had a great holiday period with the family or your friends or your loved ones, whoever you felt like spending time with, and I hope I see you all in the next one.